Yu-Gi-Oh! Manga Volume 2. The first story, titled The Poison Man, no, uh, not that one, has Genochi visiting this clothes and shoe shop called the Junkie Scorpion. I think I went somewhere like that once when I was a kid and got these uh, beach sandals with blue scorpions on them a long time ago. Joey wants these hyper expensive shoes and the owner says there are more people who want those kinds of sneakers than stars in the sky. I guess he's not familiar with astronomy, doesn't know how many stars are in the sky. Anyway, uh, he puts this challenge to Joey uh, to put his shoe in the sneaker and Joey actually accepts the challenge himself and after that there's a few more twists and for such a simple setup it turns out to be quite the badass chapter. The second duel, uh, The Cards with Teeth, is the chapter where the Duel Monsters card game is first introduced. Suguguro says that some people have even sold their houses to buy cards. I'm not sure how that's a logical trait at all, but and then again, you would be surprised at the extent some collectors go to. This chapter is also the first appearance of Seto Kaiba, who sees Sugukuro Moto's Blue Eyes White Dragon as he is showing it uh, to Yugi, Joey, and friends. I won't give away how the duel plays out, but this is not the duel where Yugi summons Exodia. It's one before that. Uh, we get something a little different happening. The third and fourth chapters, titled The Wild Gang, is a two-parter story where a gang of thugs recruits Joey, Jonochi, back into their gang. Honda, Tristan, uh, reveals to Yugi and Enzu that Jonochi used to run with gangs like them. I think this very gang. And actually was a sort of control on them. A leader who would run wild with them, but as it turns out, keep them from attacking or bullying weaker opponents. That's an aspect of Joey's past that I wish the first season anime had touched on. Because having grown up watching the English version, uh, the dub, all I got from Joey's backstory was, apart from his bond with his little sister, was that he was a typical high school bully. Um, so him being a sort of control in a gang that kept them from going totally off the deep end, makes his transition into being friends with Yugi more believable. Because the reality is that a couple of small acts of bravery, like Yugi standing up to Ushio, the high schooler who would become Tetsuo Ushio or Officer Trudge of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, uh, like 30, 35 years later, uh, and Tristan, and Yugi going to try and rescue him, and Yami appears and plays a very clever, shall we say, bait and switch game <laughs> with the game. And as the conclusion of the game shows, Egyptian gods is a tem sadistic. Then again, the game was terrorizing school children, so. Duels 13 and 14 are combined into another two parter titled The Man from Egypt, and we learn that the archaeologists who discovered and brought back the Millennium Puzzle all died mysterious deaths. Nonetheless, the kids go to the Domino, City's, Domino City Museum's Egypt Unearthed exhibit. Oh, just to mention, I was watching this archaeology series, America Unearthed, following a forensic archaeologist named Scott Walter as he um, investigates um, mysteries in the Americas, not just North America, South America too. Um, overlooked mysteries, hidden mysteries, um, you know, artifacts that were rumored to be hoaxes, many of them turn out to be genuine, uh, you know, new twists on legends. Amazing series. And, oh, just to say also, telling, well, not just kids really, anyone with a sense of adventure, 
that someone who brought back, brought back an artifact or went to this place, uh, everyone in the team died mysterious deaths, that's only going to guarantee they're going to go check it out more. Just human nature. There's an interesting little panel in the beginning of the story where Yugi says to Professor Yoshimori, uh, one of Professor Sugukuramoto's friends, uh, well, is Grandpa Professor... I don't know. Uh, 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 the, the anime suggests that he is a retired archaeologist. Or whatever. And I thought archaeologists were treasure hunters with dreams of hitting it big. Um, Yugi says, Yoshimori says to him, no, that's just in the movies. Archaeology is one of the worst paid professions. As is paleontology, which I should know as I am one, well, I'm both an ecologist and a paleontologist. I'm, I dabble in many different sciences, but uh, I'm find, and I'm find, finding it extremely difficult to score anything more than volunteer work. That's why it usually can't be your one source of income in the real world, and is why in the movies, uh, Indiana Jones was a university professor as his paying job. This was back before universities betrayed their commitment to reason, evidence, and intellect, and became purely leftist tantrum fests. <sighs> Turns out Yoshimori is a uh, university professor as well, again, before well got totally screwed up. Um, university professors usually have... Uh, the thing about teachers is they have not the best salaries, but very good benefits. Not exactly sure how it works in Japan, but anyway. Um, so reading on, oh, uh, so this storyline is actually really followed in the, uh, in the last chapter of the book as well, uh, and it takes some very interesting turns, uh, in these actually three chapters. The last, the last one has a, uh, different title. For, forget what it is at the moment. Um, can... Reach the book. Second, the last chapter is called "The Other Criminal," and it's not a part one. Okay, so um, this is a really awesome Yu-Gi-Oh volume. I definitely see why and how this story was meant to be about so much more than just the Duel Monsters card game. But the game is fun. I started building and adapting and playing my own decks from all the way back from its ori original release in North America in about uh, 2002. All the same, I do wish we'd have, we'd have gotten creepy stories like those in this book. And the enemy has pieces of some of them. Um, the Season Zero sub enemy has a little bit more I don't think it adapts all of them, but um, we'll uh, continue looking through this series with Volume 3.